Hey everybody, thanks for clicking in. I hope you guys have had an incredible week. Um, I did get to hit up a few garage sales. The garage sales are slowing down a little bit in the area, but it's October, it's kind of typical. Uh, I am getting good deals still, finding great finds, and I'm excited to show you guys what I have for you today. So stick around, get comfortable, and let me show you everything I got. So first off, we have this hand-blown glass dolphin figurine. It's really pretty. I didn't notice until later that it does have a purple tint to it. I mean, I swear I first saw it clear. And then as I looked it up online, then, you know, the other ones, the purple comes through a lot better. So now I see purple in this one. So really pretty. Online, this guy is selling with shipping on eBay for about 30 to $35. I'm going to take it to the booth. Hopefully I'll get it there by the beginning of next week with all these other great finds. I think I'll list it at $30, so we'll see. Uh, paperweights and you know things like this do sell pretty quickly, so we'll, we'll start at 30 and then see what happens. And this beautiful set is Turkish. Uh, they're a tea glass set with the saucers, uh, really good shape. I didn't see any cracks or anything like that. Some of the gold trim is fading a little in some areas, but it's not that bad uh, or big of a deal. So I'm definitely gonna sell this at the booth. You can see a little logo on it. I saw a set of five sell on eBay, including shipping for $50. So I'm gonna take these six to the booth and list it at $50. I think that's pretty and fair. So we'll see what happens again. Everything's just kind of trial and error with prices. And I'd like to just price you know, right under or at, of course, what it's selling for on eBay. And then I have this hand-painted peacock vase uh, or pitcher. Really pretty, hand-painted in Japan. Oh, it's upside down. Caught my eye there at the garage sale also. I got it for a dollar. And on eBay, uh, including shipping, I saw one sell for $36. So I didn't see a lot of them. So I'll probably put it at the booth for between $20 to $25. It is unique. You know, my goal isn't to let things sit for long. So I think it's pretty, but $20 $25 should hopefully move it and push it. And then this very pretty glass mug is from Michigan, uh, Frankenmuth, Michigan. It's part of a series uh, by Culver and... He seems to have different locations featured on the front of these mugs. They're 22 karat. There's usually a sticker inside that says 22 karat by Culver. And I think that's so unique and different. But I'm not sure if, depending on the location, if it is just, you know, worth more. But what I looked up, they all seem to be selling about the same price. So... On eBay, I saw one sell for $30 that included shipping. So definitely take it to the booth and listing at 20. Hopefully that sells and somebody can add that to their collection. And these little guys are listed as Oberglas of Austria. They are vintage mid-century modern vases. And I think the etchings on them are really pretty. They did stand out from other things I had on the table. I did like them. I guess you could definitely use it as a vase. I have a little plastic. It's kind of too long, but, or if you want to put a small candle in there, that would be pretty too. So a set like this of two, I've seen listed online uh, between eBay and Etsy. Etsy is another little shopping app uh, for about $40 and then you'd pay shipping, which would probably be close to 10-ish dollars. So I'll take them to the booth and label them for $30, $35 really pretty actually i might hold on to them and then take them to the booth later <laughs> and then i got this little guy for a dollar uh definitely taking a chance because you can see the gold and silver tone to it but it's a good 20 dollar piece at the booth or online i'll probably put this on Mercari. it's premier designs by molly nichols and it's an onyx brooch pin so pretty different and 
Uh, the booth or the Mercari. We'll see. It'll photograph well, so I might just ship it on Mercari. I found this cool hand-carved wooden fish. These are priced all over the place. And of course, none of them really look the same online. So, I mean, I've seen them range from 100 to $1,000. And I really don't know uh, much about hand-carved wood. And especially like, if they're carved as a fish. But it is pretty. Somebody will enjoy it. So it's about two feet long. I'll take it to the booth. Uh, probably put about $50 on it. So we do do good with uh, wood carvings and wood sculptures. So we'll see how long it takes for that to sell. And then I got this for free. Everything I've gotten was about a dollar, two dollars. This it was free. It's just a Pampered Chef round baking stone. It looks used, but it's very heavy duty. And I know Pampered Chef is very sought after so this i'll probably put on marketplace since it's kind of heavy and it's not vintage i don't believe so i'll probably put it at 15 dollars on the marketplace 10 or 10 dollars just got to get rid of it and then these casserole dishes i'm really not big on grabbing these casserole dishes there was a guy in our booth who said that they fly off the shelf for him so these are they're all corning ware these have the blue corn flour good thing is that they have all the lids and this has a pretty little iris uh, painted on there so I got them each for two dollars each and online I think they're selling for about 20 to 25 dollars because they're about a quart and a half under two quarts this one's a little bigger one I think I'll put them between 20 25 dollars a piece at the booth so we did just have a recent uh, influx of people buying Pyrex, and I don't think those had the lids. So being that these have lids, I'm gonna put them out and see how fast those sell. Ooh, look at this. This is very pretty. I like it. Let's see how much they have it listed at. Uh, I think we could take it. Ooh. Look at these. These definitely look vintage. Oh, yeah. These are good. And there's two. Just gotta make sure they're not chipped or cracked. And they're going home with me also. For $2.99 each, I think we'll, we'll do good with that. So the music at this thrift store was incredibly loud. So I had to delete the original audio so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. These ceramic roosters are well priced and they will sell well at the booth. We always do well when we have statues or figurines of roosters. Now this colored glass got my attention, but we have so much glass I didn't want to be stuck with it. This is adorable. I like the reindeer. It's Christmas. It's Mikasa. So I want to take it, though we usually don't pick up a lot of Christmas decoration but I'm gonna take this one with me. Now I knew when I saw these candlestick holders, I was taking them with me. They're a great accent to any room of the house. This one is very pretty. I love the bold coloring. It is lacquerware. It's made in Vietnam. But for $7, I'm going to go ahead and put it back. I wish it was just a little bit cheaper. Now this is Pier 1. Uh, it has its lid, little honeycomb looking canister. For $3, I'm definitely going to take this one to the booth and see what it does. 
Okay, so I had to come back to this guy. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Uh, take it to the booth, and it's too pretty to leave behind, so you're going with me. Now, these wooden totems are from Jamaica. They are hand-carved, and I do like the detail in them. For $3.99 each, I am going to take them with me. Now, today is restock day at the booth. I get to bring my new inventory. I take a look around. I like to see what's sold and kind of fill gaps and holes from things that I've sold just so that, you know, there are no empty spaces. Um, we don't like a lot of clutter, so we kind of like to just space things out so it's not overwhelming for your shopper. But we have a lot of items and our booth is growing. I'm excited about this uranium art glass, so I put it front and center. Uh, take a look at everything we have on this side of the booth. Hey guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the love, the comments, the support, and uh, getting to share with you guys just what we find every week. On another note, my daughter did get a lot of sales with her challenge. Uh, she sold a lot of collagen, so I'm so glad I'm still taking that every day because it's helped clear my skin. I'm cutting my nails a lot because it's just growing so fast. So I do want to share too, one of my daily uh, routines now. The protein iced coffee is amazing. And then I add a scoop of this. It's a, it's called Prolessa Duo and it actually helps control hunger and fat reduction powder. So. You know, I'm a foodie and people know me by being a foodie because I love trying new local restaurants and I love posting about them because if you find something good, you got to share it, right? So I've lost about seven pounds in about a month and a half to two months. I know I have a lot more to go, but I just love the energy, uh, feeling less hungry. I am working out more and I just I have a journey that, you know, in this, we kind of have to help each other. We have to support each other. And if we can all lose weight together and get healthy, I think that's amazing. So, you know, between my son and my daughter, she's working at the Nutritional Healthy Vibe place that sells these products. She's doing amazing, uh, just ha having a new career, you know, a new little outlet of how to make money. Um, my son likes to work out every day, so he has his muscles. He uses the shakes and all that good stuff. So I'll put the link below. If you have questions or you just want to look them up online, follow my link and you can order, you can read about the products and it's just fun for our family and it's a whole family affair. So I love being able to do that with my kids. So one day I'm putting it out there, been praying to open our own nutrition club and um, just be praying about it. You know, God is great and whatever he puts in our hearts, he's going to deliver and he's going to come through. And so what better way to reach people and talk to people is getting them in our club, talk to them about health, talk to them about God, and great things will happen. So get out there, pursue your dreams. It takes baby steps, but it's going to happen one day. Just put your faith in God and the possibilities are endless. So I love you all. God bless you guys. Uh, go out and do what you do best. And I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.